Welcome back, Brick Maniacs. We're here talking about the event coming up this next weekend, uh, the Tank Farm uh, Open House. Uh, it's called the Americans in Wartime Open House Event. That's the 7th and 8th in Noakesville, Virginia. Uh, so our very own Cody O'Sell is going to be head down there along with Andrew from our print crew. Uh, they're going to be checking out kind of some of the events going on down there. And I don't know, have you been to Tank Farm before? Many times. Man. Okay, so yeah. tell me a little bit about it. I know that they've got like food trucks and displays and vehicles all over the place. Well, it's really focused on the historics, the mm -hmm. historic uh, nature of the vehicle. So this is this is a private collection of uh, armor vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, international collection too. They, you'll have stuff, from, see stuff from around the world. So they call it the tank farm because it is a farm. Um, a, a private collector owns the, the collection. Is they're in the process of restoring this beautiful collection of, of armored vehicles um, from around the world. I, I have to emphasize that they have stuff from World War One. They have the you know an FT seventeen. Wow. Um, that they've fully restored to, to, to function. You know it operates. It drives around. Um, Everything, you know, all the American military vehicles from World War II, and then they have all kinds of modern stuff going, you know, from Russia, from Sweden, from, you know, you know we have the Hetzer. They have, they have a Hetzer there. Uh, theirs is actually a Swiss Hetzer. It's not the German one we showed here. Sure. But, um, they have Shermans, you know, you name it, they have it. They, the, I think they were working on, last time I was out there, um, you know, th this place is located near our store in Chantilly, so it's about half an hour away. Uh, it's in Noakesville, Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, they were restoring a Israeli M51 Super Sherman. Hmm. Um, and it's, you know, if you haven't seen that, it's just massive. Huge. It's, it's, it's a EZ-8 Sherman with a gigantic French 75 millimeter gun on it. It's, it's awesome. Um, we, I want to make a kit of this thing. It's, it's mm -hmm. that cool. But, you know, they have, they're just, you know, they're always restoring new vehicles. Every year they do an open house for one weekend. Um, the whole point of this is it's kind of a fundraiser to, or it's not kind of, it is a fundraiser, an sure. awareness raiser to the museum. They're, they're creating this American wartime museum. Um, out there in uh, Prince William County in Virginia, uh, which would be like right, you know, strategically located near the, the Marine Corps Museum. Um, you know, all this historical stuff has happened in that, that area of Virginia. And um, this new museum will basically be a place where reenactors can come and, and reenact scenes. They can, they'll have historic, you know, basically historic recreations. All the real vehicles will be held, you know, put inside of uh, buildings. They won't have to just pull them out on a weekend. Um, so this is like basically, a preview of what they're building for the museum. Sure. Um, you come out, you park your car, you walk in, and you're like going back in time because you're mm -hmm. walking by reenact reenactment camps. You walk past, you know, I've been there where they've had a uh, you know the, the uh, Filipino uh, army unit with horses. They, you know, they, wow. they, you know, there'll be like a British camp, a German camp, a a you know various Cold War camps. I think the my my my, my best times, my best memories are hanging out in the French Foreign Legion camp. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so it depends on what their theme is. They've had a Vietnam era theme. They've done. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure what it is this year. Sure. Uh, sometimes they don't even really have a general theme. It's just uh, mm -hmm. the various groups from all over the country show up and, and set up their camp, uh, have the vehicles, have vehicle demonstrations. Uh, every year the Marine Corps has a uh, flamethrower demonstration, oh. like a mock battle where they'll drop, drop guys off in, a, in a, an LVT or something and, you know, with, with uh, guns that are shooting blanks of a mock battle, they'll storm a bunker and out comes the flamethrower and they, they inevitably set the field on fire. And, <laughs> it sounds awesome. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> you're, you're, you know, you're at a safe distance. They do have a, sure. a barricade. So there's an area where the tanks are rolling around, and you're, you're safely behind a barricade. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not like you're, you're in amongst all these moving vehicles. Although they do actually, you know, you're, you're, in, a, you're in a camp with about 150 tanks, and they will, you know, th throughout the show, cordon off certain areas so they can move the different vehicles out to the display line. I have to. So um, it's sort of like an air show, but with tanks. Yeah, right. But suffice, it's safe to say that this is one of maybe a handful of places in the world where you could see a demonstration like this with all of these things in one spot. Right, and, and to see, you know, these, these are huge armored vehicles and uh, huge historic significance too. So you'll have somebody basically over the PA explaining what each vehicle is, what mm -hmm. it's doing. They'll you'll drive it around in a circle and, and show off the unique features. Some of them are pretty impressive and some of our, you know, like, They'll kick up a heck of a lot of smoke as they're, as they're you know, performing at high speed. You know, these, these are gigantic, heavy machines. And, mm -hmm. you know, who, who didn't, when they were a kid, play in the sandbox with their, their bulldozers and stuff? This is like the same thing, but for grown-ups. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, so I guess grown-ups and kids. Yeah, kids, right. Kids of all ages. <laughs> Oh man, that's cool. Well, and, and, and so that's the 7th and 8th of September, once again in Noakesville, Virginia. That's called Tank Farm. It's the Americans in Wartime open house event. Like Dan said, it is a fundraiser for that. But there's also a lot of cool things outside uh, of the tanks there as well. There's going to be uh, other vehicles on display. There's a hangar full of artifacts and other historical things. And like I said, food trucks. 
other fun things that you can do. You know, it's a it is a family oriented event. Uh, and then, like we were touching on, uh, Cody Osell will be there uh, along with Andrew from our print team. Uh, so we'll have the Brick Mania representation down there. And so and if Andrew's been there before too. So. Okay, fair enough. So you know, some experienced Tank Farm veterans right. down there. So maybe they can give you a little bit of a point or two on uh, on what the cool things to see are. Right, and it also I should say this is outside. It's an outside event. If it gets if it's like rain in the forecast, always check the forecast. Yeah. And go to the go to the website. The URL is in our events page. Make sure it's still happening. If they have to call it for weather, they will. They unfortunately have had to do you know, at least once in my memory. Okay. Uh, tw actually, they called it all off completely once, and once they had to cancel the Sunday because it was they were expecting a huge storm and. Um, they didn't really want to necessarily drive all the tanks around in a big muddy field. They're still uh, antiques. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, it's like you don't want to be hanging around in a muddy field with, with, with you know, because the tanks are just going to churn up the mud and you'll, like, you'll lose a shoe, it'll be a mess. And, yeah, it won't be fun. <laughs> okay. So, they, they, you know, it's weather permitting. Mm -hmm. um, usually in September, it's pretty good in, in Virginia. It's, uh, you know, prepare for warm yeah. weather. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, once again, that is the 7th and 8th at Noakesville, Virginia, the Tank Farm Open House event. Uh, hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. It's not to be missed.